Hello viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about MATLAB simulation of solar PV battery fed EV system with regenerated braking employing CETA converter. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell, bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So directly we have to see about the solar PV battery fed EV system along with uh, regenerative braking. So, this is the MATLAB model developed for this simulation. So, it consists of uh, a PV panel and then this is nothing but a CETA converter and then voltage source inverter and VLDC motor and this is nothing but all decoder sensor decoder and uh, control logic for uh, uh, running and uh, breaking command so here we are using battery so battery is going to be connected here that when battery is connected to voltage source inverter that mean output terminal of that CETA converter and here we are using uh, uh, p and o mbpt algorithm this is a pv panel writing up we are consider the rating of pv panel is 34.9 watts and then voltage at maximum power point is 41.5 and current at maximum power point is 8 amps so here you can see the PV and IV characteristics of the consider PV panel for different irradiation with the 25 degrees Celsius. Here the P and O, P and O can be PT received the two input that mean one is PV panel voltage and current and then finally it will uh, generate the duty cycle based upon the voltage current in process via pedulim generator so the output of pedulim generator nothing but uh, pedulim pulse so it will be given to the IGPT of the CETA converter and here you can see here right the all sensor output taken from BLDC motor so that all sensor output decoder into getting signal and then it will be combined with the running and breaking command so when go inside so this is the uh, that means getting signal generation and generation based upon all sensor okay and then this uh, all sensor that means this control logic generate the uh, getting pulse so this is going to be combined with the running command and also it going to be combined with the breaking command okay uh, breaking command pulse okay and finally this pulse going to be given to voltage source inverter so this breaking pulse or breaking cam, uh, signal rat, pulse will be generated uh, based upon uh, battery current so here you can see that you have to measure the battery current and going to become com, combined then will compare with this profound signal and then this error going to be processed by PA controller and, and then it going to be compared with the SATU form for generating the pulse so this pulse going to be allowed during only breaking so this uh, breaking command going to be used to allow that uh, pedulum pulse uh, during breaking only okay so next you have to see the performance of the system solar PV battery fed uh, EV system right so initially I am uh, that mean mm -hmm. I am going to consider the irradiation of the PV panel is 1025 okay and the breaking command when we uh, generated during uh, that means from 0 to 5 seconds right so the motor will be operated uh, normal running condition after 5 seconds the breaking command will be given to the system okay when you are going to use solar pv and battery okay 
both in same time that means you consider the day time right so when you're going to use uh, both uh, uh, solar pv system and battery in that time okay you drive that vldc motor so both will be going to be supply the power okay and then battery also going to be supply the power to the uh, vldc motor through that voltage source inverter okay when you have to apply that braking command uh, during that uh, uh, when operating the uh, build is motor with solar pv system so you cannot see the variation of uh, uh, charging of that uh, battery for, uh, during that region in braking okay so we can see the exact scenario when uh, there is no power in the solar pv system so we can see the exact scenario of the uh, region of braking okay during the braking condition so i will explain both okay first we have to operate that uh, that ev system with the vldc motor right with both the solar pv and battery and then we have to apply the braking and then we will see the uh, charging of battery so what will be happen the battery charging during the motor going, going for braking condition okay so when there is no power in the solar pv that mean night time right so when there is no power in the solar pv system then what's the operation of the system with battery alone and also when braking applying during that time okay during that condition right so what happened with the uh, battery charging during that uh, regenerative braking okay so first i'm going to simulate this same model so i'm going to open this here i'm going to open the speed of the vldc motor and then this nothing but current of the output current of this zeta converter inverter input current and battery current and then you have to open the speed of the machine and we need to open the battery measurement system and we need to see about the pv panel detail right that mean power of the pv power here and then use battery details here battery battery measurement and then you have to use speed of the build dc motor and then torque of the BLDC motor and then we can see the current sita 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 output current inverter input current and battery current okay so i'm going to simulate this model now the irradiation of the pv panel is 1000 watts per meter square and temperature is 25 degrees celsius so we are considered 333 watts power that means 333 watts pv panel so now we can see that so maximum power is extracted from the pv panel during this condition so here you can see that this output of that zeta converter so this is the inverter input current this is a battery current so now that that mean uh, PV as well as battery supplying the power to the build DC motor. So here you can see that uh, this is a battery power. So after five seconds, uh, the braking is applying the system. During that time, the speed of the build DC motor goes to zero, and same time torque goes to a negative during that braking. Now you can see that. You can see here that torque is going to negative during that time. So that time uh, some energy will be stored in that uh, in the battery. But now what happened, right? So PV having power, right? So PV also having power, but this the change in the torque, right? That means there is in uh, that means there was a kinetic energy. So that energy is uh, fed back to the battery, but 
it has some small variation only but it not affected uh, we are not see exactly in the system when we are going to operate with the solar pv system because the solar pv has uh, the power around 334 watts right so now you can see that uh, battery measurement so here the current of the battery right is goes to negative right so this is because of uh, the bat that in pv power right so pv power uh, having around 334 watts right so by using this power during breaking that energy going to be used for charging the battery so that that can be seen that you can see here right now the soc of the battery which initially is charging right so during running condition both solar pv and the bldc motor uh, sorry battery going to be used for supply the power to the bldc motor so during breaking hot up and that uh, bldc motor goes to stopping condition you only to have some uh, regenerative energy right so that energy going to be used for charge the battery that amount will be very small so you cannot see uh, you cannot see in this uh, simulation so because of that uh, having pv power very high here right so ne next time i'm going to simulate the same concept right so here you can see that uh, the source is increasing because of solar pv power so solar pv going to be used to charge the battery okay so next time i'm going to simulate the same concept okay uh, for uh, during uh, there is no power in the solar pv system so for that i'm going to make uh, the irradiation of the panel will be equal to 10 okay so during that time if uh, 10 watts per meter square definitely there is no power generation from the solar pv system then the battery alone going to be drive the bldc motor so now we can see the effect of that uh, uh, regenerative braking during braking condition okay so now i'm going to open the model that means simulation results scope windows So now I'm going to simulate the model for this condition. Now we can see here that uh, PV power is is near to zero, right? So battery alone, right? Here you can see that output of theta converter equals zero because there is no power in the PV panel. So battery alone only supplying the power to the BLDC motor. Now we can see that the speed of the BLDC motor and torque of the BLDC motor. Now we can see here, right? The SOC of the battery is decreasing because we, the battery is supplying the power to the BLDC motor around 500 watts, right? So, because the motor rating is 500 watts, after 5 seconds, right? Braking is applying the system. So, now we can see that uh, regenerative braking charging that energy going to be used to charge the battery right now you can see here right the effect of that uh, uh, torque is negative right so torque is goes to negative that means here that uh, regenerate, regenerative energy concept is applying taking concept is applying here right uh, now i'm going to zoom that completion right you will get better idea now here you can see that the battery will be charging right and also you can see the current right battery current so current goes to nearly minus 2 amps right so now you can see that power of the battery is around uh, 100 watts right so the 100 watts power that means because of uh, that uh, regen regeneration right the energy going to be used for charge the battery okay so the energy in the build is matter during breaking that kinetic energy so it will be very short time right the energy will be yeah, available at the during some short time right that energy going to be used for charge the battery during this condition okay so this is a regenerative uh, breaking concept that means by using that uh, re uh, regeneration concept you have to charge the battery of the system okay in the ev system so and also you can see here right so this is inverter input current right so it's negative 
because now that uh, the inverter voltage source inverter uh, take the power from the BDC motor and then uh, charge the battery, right? So that's why the inverter current also is negative. Okay, so the power is taken from the BDC motor. Okay, so this is a regenerative braking concept in the uh, EV system uh, along with the solar PV battery powering. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. So kindly subscribe our channel and also click the uh, bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.